If you like my content, please like and click on the subscribe button. Click on the drop down and select all to see regular updates. Hey there, folks. Glad to have you back on the Data Sculptor channel. Today, we are diving into yet another fascinating problem. So, let's tackle it together. So, this is the question you have two tables uh, with first is the orders and second is the days to manufacture so if you see in the orders you have order ID and uh, you have product and uh, this order needs to be delivered in these many days so Aurora needs to be delivered in 7 days, Twilight in 3 days and Sunray in 9 days and this table contains for each of the product it contains some uh, components so and this is the days to manufacture uh, each of the component so if you see here the maximum time taken for this particular component is 7 and the days to deliver is required 7 so 7 and 7 is matching so date of uh, delivery can be is on schedule on schedule and now twilight needs to be delivered uh, in 3 days and uh, so for twilight it, you need uh, 2 days for filament and 7 days for photon, photon coil since uh, it takes minimum of 7 days to manufacture so it is ahead of schedule uh, sorry yeah twilight is behind schedule because day, days to deliver is 3 and uh, days to uh, manufacture is 7 and sunray similarly the same sunray is ahead of schedule so hope you all understand the question so now let's go back to sql server studio and see how we can solve this so i have this uh, already created uh, the tables you'll have you can see as usual uh, you can see the dml script in the description of this video and uh, so this is pretty simple uh, not much complex so first thing as discussed so we need to see the max of uh, select uh, from orders so if you run the select star what do you see from orders this is the table and from manufacturing times uh, so what do you see so product component and days to manufacture so now what i'll do i'll do select product comma max of days to manufacture yes max days and group by product so when i run this so you see uh, the maximum days it takes for this product to be uh, delivered so now what i'll do i'll keep this in a cte with cte as and uh, i'll keep this and next select from orders o uh, inner join manufacturing line times m on o dot product is equal to m dot product so instead of inner join on the manufacturing times uh, we need to do the ct inner join on the ct and what i want so out output it should be order id and o dot product comma o dot days to deliver comma and uh, we need days to uh, deliver days to uh, build and schedule right so days to build is um, max days so days to deliver is this and uh, days to build is m dot max days as days to build comma we have to write use case statement case when um, uh, here of um, um, days to deliver is greater than or equal to m dot max days then ahead of schedule so, sorry behind schedule behind schedule when days to deliver less than m dot max days then behind schedule and uh, so it should not use equal to because if uh, equal to is there it is on schedule
so if days to delivery is equal to max days then it is on schedule end as schedule so if you run this this is the output we get so on schedule behind schedule and uh, okay something is stored okay i guess this is not behind ahead ahead of schedule so days to deliver if it is greater than uh, the days to build um it is ahead of schedule and days to deliver is less than the days to build is behind schedule so yeah now it is matching so hope you all understand the problem and uh, if you like my content please like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more amazing content thank you have a nice day